Matt Watroba with you here on Folk Alley. And this is uh, its just exciting to be able to bring live music to you from anywhere in the country. Here we sit up in Kent, Ohio, in Northeast Ohio, and we are going to go live down to uh, Austin, Texas. And we're going to do that right now and say hello to uh, John Fulbright. John, are you there? I'm here. How are you? I'm good, man. It's really great to have you on, uh, on our, in our studios, and we appreciate you taking out the time to play a few tunes for us. Absolutely. Pleasure to be here. Cool. Um, you know, I, I've been reading a little bit about you and listening to your music, of course, and one of the things that intrigued me, but maybe it's just me, is could you talk a little bit about your parents' record collection? Was there something in there that sparked a young man like yourself to get into this, uh, this go down this wayward path? Yeah. Uh, Mom had a handful of kind of top 40 records uh from the 60s and 70s um a lot of stuff before she gave up on rock and roll and just listened to country in the 80s uh and i kind of poured through that when i was old enough to you know handle records without getting beaten (laughs) (laughs) did did it inform you as a songwriter i mean were you listening critically that way back then or were you just moved by the music in general both uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, there was, I mean, there was the, the Dylan, the Dylan record. What is that? The greatest hits record with the kind of the blue silhouette of his head. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I remember that being pretty important. I also, yeah, I remember asking my mom what everybody must get stoned meant. And I, <laughs> I assumed it was the biblical sense. <laughs> A little more ominous. And she didn't really. tell me any different. She said, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Uh, so, so when did when did it occur to you that this this was something you might take a stab at, something that you might sit and do? Oh, I don't know. I've always kind of played something. Um, I was the scrawny kid that that wouldn't go play baseball. Uh, I just kind of played the piano. Uh, I don't know. Uh, probably, you know, early teens. I started maybe writing stuff down. Never but, thinking you know, I, I, I wanted to do it for a living. Right. But, but, you know, I got to say, I listen to some of these songs, you know, all of these songs mm-hmm. on the new record from the ground up, which is fabulous, by the way. And, Thank you. And I think to myself, this, these are really well crafted songs. You know, this is this is something uh, th- these I'll say it again. They're just really well crafted songs that doesn't come from nowhere. Yeah, it does. It comes from a little bitty room you know, <laughs> by yourself and, and you're, you work real hard and you don't go outside. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you know? Now, you know, people people have compared your music to like, you know, Towns, Van Zant, Mickey Newberry, I some of those kind that. of deep Southern, you know, are those people you listen to? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, those are my, those are the founding fathers to me of, of what I'm doing right now. Uh, sure. But yeah, any, any, that's, I mean, thanks for saying that. That's like, uh, you know, anybody that compares me to those guys i i, I kind of think i must be doing something right at least well i i, I do think you, i think in fact you are and i thought maybe what we could do is have you do maybe three songs for the folk alley listeners right now and and then we can maybe talk a little bit more and we'll have you do another song if that's cool yeah that sounds great great why don't you introduce your band on there too if you could. uh my band will start with the guitar player and it's uh, this is terry buffalo Ware playing playing lead with me and the I think the rest got lost on the way. <laughs> Terry's the band. Terry's the band today. <laughs> but uh, uh, let's see. Let's let's do a song called. This is a song called "God Above," and uh, this is kind of. I was trying to write from from a character perspective, you know. And what do they say? Painters start from the top, and bricklayers start from the bottom. That's. <laughs> <laughs> so I might as well go to the top. So this is a song called, uh, I mean, from God's perspective, called God Above. I mean. Six long days, seventh day he rested, said there's one sure way. Humans can be best at giving wine and song, fire and lust. When it all goes wrong, I'm the man to trust, and now you're all mine, all mine together. Will you sing my praise? Sing my name forever. I am God. It's not all I've 
I've got me a flame and it's a swingers ball. If you don't know my name or where you think it's a hot down there in July, I've got the means and the kitchen to fry. And now you're all mine, all mine together, all my doubting children locked away forever. I am God above, Lord God Almighty, Mama. I made the heaven and earth, I made the stars above. Oh, is it too much to ask for a little Tip my hat to all of your creations. You can fly like birds, destroy entire nations. Go and curse my name with your last breath. If all I brought to your life was death, then now you're all mine. All mine together. Will you sing my praise? Sing my name forever. I am God of. called Forgotten Flowers. I got diamonds in my backyard they grow just like weeds, you'll come and gather them in bundles. Take all that you need, but save the flowers there for me, dear. Take the diamonds for your greed, because the flowers don't grow like weeds. Glory, glory, hallelujah, I'm lost. She's found another lover to give her shelter when the fields have turned brown. Another kind man to warm her when the snow finds the ground. The only girl that made the world go round There are some things worth remembering And others left for time to come and weather And to change in the wind your mind, but don't forget me while you're leaving. Just remember my rhyme, cause it's all that I borrowed from time.
now it's Sunday, early evening. I rise for the day and brush your long hair from the pillow on my bed where she would lay. And in the backyard, forgotten flowers are all fading away to bloom in other lovers' backyards someday. To bloom in other lovers' backyard someday. Yeah. Uh, let's see. One more song. Let's do Satan and St. Paul. Um. Tell me that you love me I got nothing left in turn Except this empty bag of promises And second degree burns On the tips of my fingers From touching certain fruit That I never should have touched In the first place the sky is raining fire But I think I'll go to bed Cause there ain't much you can do When it burns down on your head I said pray and beg for mercy From this hell that you created On the corner of Satan and St. Paul
guest in the studio oh, is Terry, Terry Buffalo Ware <laughs> playing guitar, John Fulbright doing the songs and uh, singing those tunes that he wrote from the new album called From the Ground Up. You can also hear some of John's music from a, a live recording he did at the Blue Door in Oklahoma City as well. Uh, a really nice showcase of his material, but boy, you got to hear what happened to these songs under the production. Tell us a little about the album, John. What what uh, you got a great producer, great musicians backing you up on this thing. Um, are, are you happy with the way it came out? Oh, I'm very happy with the way it came out. Uh, I, uh, yeah, I'm very very proud. It was almost it was almost uh, a mistake. <laughs> we went in to make a demo so we could go, you know, maybe shop it around and go to some big nice studio in you know nashville or la but we we went into west sharon studio in norman oklahoma uh me and buff and a handful of other norman guys and about you know three hours later we all walked out uh with the same idea which was this is the record this is not a demo <laughs> can you put a finger on what the sound was that that you like so much what what was it about it it was just raw and live, you know. It was alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's uh, yeah. There was nothing sleek or slick about it. It was just go in there and and play play music together. Uh, you know, n- nothing fancy. Just just real. What about the collection of songs itself? Is there something in that collection on the record that you think is there some like? like a thread that brings those songs together in some way, some sort of, do you, do you see some similarities between these songs in any way thematically? So, well, sort of. Um, I, I I tend to write, uh, you know, well, that sounds, it sounds pretentious, but like everyone kind of writes in in stages and, and they, they pick themes, you know. And so when I listen to all my songs, I can hear kind of the stages that I'm in. I can hear who I'm listening to, for one thing, at the time. Uh, sure. And so, yeah. This is this record's kind of a mix of a lot of stuff. It's it's got the first it's got a few songs from the first batch of songs I ever kept. It's got a few songs that are, are brand spanking new, you know, kind of infants don't even know how to walk yet kind of songs. But uh for the most part it's it's you know, I I just we just tried to make it as as genuine as we could make it. And you're happy with the results. Very happy with the results. Proud as a peacock. Right. And so, you know, I mean, let's face it, man. Here's a young guy writing great songs from Okima, Oklahoma, of all places, you know, the birthplace of uh, of one of our greatest songwriters, surrounded by all these great musicians. All of a sudden, this new record comes out. People are paying lots of attention. Are you ready for all this hype and all this stuff? I mean, it just comes with the territory. I'll tell you in a year. Yeah? Yeah. I don't what, know. What do you like about it right now? Uh, that people are listening. Uh, that's That's, you know, that's why they're written. <laughs> it's uh, I, you know. How about the community of musicians too? Well, absolutely. You enjoy and playing with folks. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's I'm, I get to ha- I get to hang out with guys that, that you know I've just listened to and respected as songwriters, and now now we're you know sitting around drinking coffee and talking about songs. That's that's pretty pretty cool. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. KMFA down in Austin, we want to thank them for what they've done to, to make these interviews and these live performances possible. But I, I'd love to hear one more song from you if you guys could do it. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, this Look. is a song called Nowhere to Be Found on this beautiful Steinway and Sons piano. true. 
not always sound Oh, I made a fool of me and you Now you're nowhere to be found A man who cries is not so weak. His heart has become unbound. But a man that can't find words to speak is no. Say I'm sorry, but that won't do. The future's come unwound. Words I should have said to you are no. That's John Fulbright. John, that's a beautiful melody. That's a really well-crafted song. Thank you very much. It's a real pleasure to hear that. I can see, you know, it's so hard. People keep comparing you to people, and I know that can be frustrating, but you've taken the best of the Randy Newmans and the Tom Waits and those folks and, and really have made something of your own, and I think that's really the gift, isn't it? I'm glad you think so.